Hi, Live Starring You fans. I'm here with Caroline Ray at the Lucille Ball Comedy Festival in Jamestown, New York. What are the biggest misconceptions that people have about the entertainment industry? Well, nothing like not preparing me and asking me like a super serious question. <laughs> Hello? Hello? No, but you're ruining it. My whole interview. Okay? My whole interview. Close the door! One of the biggest misconceptions, and I have to repeat the question like we're in high school and I'm doing an essay. Um, the biggest misconceptions about show business are, you know what the worst thing is? When you realize that it's a business, that business is the long word and show is the little word. Because I was clueless. I never knew. I just wanted to be, like, be on stage. I wanted to entertain. I wanted to be in a sitcom. I wanted to be in a play. I wanted to just play. But it's a business. And you have to have a business mind as well. Because otherwise you have a lot of actors who make a lot of money who don't get to keep it. So that's, that, that's what I would say. You're an actress, a comedian, a voiceover artist, and a TV host. They're all a little bit... And a dancer! And a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> They're all slightly different from each other, but I'm curious, who are you? Who am I? Which one am I? First and foremost, I'm a mother. I have a five-year-old daughter. That's like defines me, my daughter Ava. Second of all, I am the class clown who gets paid to do it, even in adult life. Happiest when I'm on stage. Um, I love acting because you actually get to play with a whole group of people. I loved hosting because I'm actually genuinely interested, even though a lot of people just go, yes, no, yes, no. And you're like, well, the survey's done. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Um, I don't know. I really like doing a lot of it. It's always been my problem. I can never just solely focus. How, so that's who I am. <laughs> How important has the ability to be funny helped you with your acting career? Okay, first of all, you're not even looking at your cards. Who are you? 18 and already good at this. What is this? I was I had cue cards who would go like this when I had a doctor. You're like, I am just holding this to fake you out. Um Well, it's the, it's like anything, right? It's your tension breaker. It's your I mean, I got a part in a movie um directed by Milos Foreman because he saw me do stand up and thought I was funny. I never understood a word he said to me because his accent was so strong. And he went, and then you must do this, and then you do the action. And I'm like, no idea. Um, so you just sort of do what you do. What would you say are the biggest differences between voiceover work and being on screen? Well, one, you can look like crap when you do your voiceover work. <laughs> and um, you don't even have to wear makeup. Hi, kind of forgot mine. But um, voiceover work is very specific, and it's incredibly fun because you get very attached to your character. And then you eventually realize, like, I can't even remember. I mean, we've done, like, ten seasons of Phineas and Ferb. If I ever, I love them, Phineas and Ferb. You do? Well, thank you. I just asked them today. I'm like, have you ever seen Phineas and Ferb? And she's like, no, my kids love it. I hate that show. And I was like, what is that? The show for Phineas? Um, voiceover is specific. It's a different little, like, they'll say things like this to you in voiceover. Okay. Taller. I'm like, taller. Like, I have no idea. Or they're like, you have to really squish your rhythm in. So that's that's the biggest difference. Okay. I'm, I'm taking that microphone and asking you some questions, Posse. <laughs> There's no way you're just drilling me like Diane Sawyer here. <laughs> when kids are little, Disney tells them to wish upon a star, you know, dream big, work hard, and we believe it. But we know that breaking into the entertainment industry is not so simple. So how do you make it big? Good Lord, woman. <laughs> Faking me out. She's got like three words written on the page. Perseverance. 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 And it hurts your feelings, but if it's what you know you're meant to do, that's going to be the biggest contribution that you can make to the world is by following who you are. You have to remember that. And you know what? You don't want it to come. You have to earn it. You don't want it to come easily. Then, it, then you won't get to keep it. Was there ever a time that a critic gave you very harsh words and you almost thought that this wasn't for you anymore? I stopped reading reviews a long time ago. Don't tell me if you know any. Um, yeah, but you know what? Of course it does. It hurts your feelings. But again, they're all just tests, right? Like you have to have like this certainty and total focus. This is what I want to do. And don't get distracted by boys. You heard me. Well, we know you went to an all-girls school. <laughs> so, and I went to an all-girls school. I was captain of the virginity team. What about you? <laughs> That was the best thing ever. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you were captain of the Cheetahs, and I was like, yeah, me too. <laughs> that was a not where she was going with that. 
I was captain of the virginity team, and my mother was the coach. <laughs> I remember a school cheer. Go, go. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know why we had cheerleaders. No one ever scored. But, but thank you very much. I'll be here. <laughs> thank you too much. <laughs> Oh my How gosh! Have you been at a cheerleader at an all-girls school? Um, we just compete. We don't. We don't like boys. We don't oh, cheer okay. for them. All right. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. You're hogging the mic over here. Put it in the middle. Now it's my turn. And how old are you? I'm 18 years old. And what day are you born? June 4th, 1996. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> 1996. That was the year Sabrina started. I love Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Oh my gosh! That was the year it started. See, it's intimidating when someone has the mic. You've been reduced to all giggle puss all of a sudden. So what are you going to do next year? Um, I'm going to UB for theater and journalism. Okay, so in t- what's the big dream? What are you going to be? I mean, like, I would love to be on a TV show or do Broadway work, but whatever comes first. I would, like, basically my goal is, like, to do GMA during the day and, like, interview celebrities and then be one at night on Broadway. You know what? You totally will. And the thing about it, you'll probably do that by about 22. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, if I could, that would be really awesome. Look, that's what I did. I had a talk show, and then I would go and um, act. It's fun. Yes. Multitasking. All right. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Boys are gross. <laughs> they are gross. Unless it's Zac Efron. Like, yeah, and by the way, that goes for either of us. <laughs> wait, 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 we're all the same age. Or Channing Tatum. Like, yeah, that's that, That's a thumbs up. That's where I was the other day. Where did you go? The premiere of Guardians of the Galaxy. And how was it? I met. For the second time, my adorable Chris Pratt, who is the cutest, sweetest. The first time I met him was at the Lego premiere, where my five-year-old daughter just ran up, threw her arms around him, and took a picture with him. <laughs> and then I was like, you, come here, my daughter likes you. I'm like, I didn't know who he was. But my nephew watches Parks and Rec. And you know who was at that premiere? Who was at the premiere? Amy Poehler. <gasps> I love Amy Poehler. And she had her baby five days after me, so we're bonded for life. I love Amy. Twinsies. Hashtag twins. <laughs> hashtag Q&As with Caroline Ray. <laughs> <coughs> hashtag died on screen. <laughs> hashtag known as water. <laughs> Can you give me personally some advice for the entertainment industry and how to be able to know what's like the right path, I guess, is the best way to put there it? Is no right path. You're so on it. Are you kidding? You're already poised and beautiful and smart and driven at 18. You just have to, don't be distracted by all the, like, you know, stupid stuff. Okay, wait. So there's this guy, okay? Okay. But he's really mean. And he told me that I would never be good enough to make it in theater. So can you give, like, a shout-out to him and tell him that he's wrong, please? What is his name? (laughs) You suck. What is that about? What kind of nasty, unsupportive thing is that? And by the way, when she wins her Tony, Emmy, and Oscar, I hope she hits you on the head with all of them. Okay? Thank you so much. That just made my life. Basically, Caroline Ray has everything. She's the it factor. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Me too. I'm so glad. We got this. 